This is the most insane role painter tutorial you will ever watch in your entire life. I'm going to share forbidden knowledge, showing you how to instantly create epic cities, buildings, and villages using this magical terrain program. I'm also going to be showing you how to create gigantic high quality terrain maps in minutes, creating floating islands, massive world editing, and even editing your existing worlds. So if you want to become a master at World Painter and want to learn something new in this program, this video is for you. This is the World Painter Expert Tutorial. Alright, as usual guys, I have the timestamps for specific features I'm showing off. So if you already know something, feel free to skip around in this tutorial video. This tutorial assumes you have watched my beginner and advanced tutorial, and have played around and made a few worlds in World Painter already. If you haven't, check the description and watch those videos, and then come back here. We'll start off small and we'll get to the crazier stuff later in the video. So this is the Demon Slayer map I made on my Patreon. It's basically Japan. People have been asking me to make different types of edits for their needs. Things such as resizing the map, moving the coordinates, changing the overall height, and more. These things are possible in the edit tab. I'll go into detail on each of these. Change map format means switch the map to be rendered for a specific version. Keep in mind there's blocks like Deep Slate on the mountains and 1.16 plus blocks on this map such as sea plants and certain nether blocks like Blackstone. Obviously, these won't work if I wanted to make this in a 1.12 map, so keep note, this is not an end-all be-all feature for downgrading or upgrading maps. Any illegal blocks will be replaced with air, meaning you might get results like this on this mountain where there was supposed to be Deep Slate, but now you can see it's filled with holes. As you can see, this can ruin your maps, so make sure to replace incompatible blocks with substitutes, which leads us into global operations. So for example, if I want to replace Deep Slate with something like Grey Stained Terracotta that is 1.12 compatible, I would open Global Operations and click Fill Terrain with Grey Stained Terracotta, and then click the Only On Targeter over here, and then select Only On Deep Slate. This will apply it to your entire map. But what if you only want to target a specific area? Well, there's two ways to do this. You can manually do it by hand by selecting the brush settings and changing it around by using a brush, which is the hard way. Or you can do it the easy way. You can make a selection with the selector tool. This is explained more in my previous tutorial, by the way. Once you have a selection, you can check inside or outside selection on global operations to have it affect only the areas you want to target. So let's say I want to turn the top of this mountain slopes into diorite, which is a white block. What I would do is I would create a selection and then open global operations. I'd check inside selection at Y level 130 or above so it avoids the lower parts of the mountain. I don't want it to turn completely white, only the high slopes, so I'll check above 45 degrees. Then I'll click go, and voila! I now have a white mountain. Experiment with the targeters and you will quickly discover a lot of useful tricks with texturing. On to next edit tools. Dimensions properties is just the export tab when you are exporting World Painter to a Minecraft world. Dimensions. We're going to go over this in a pro tutorial. When this video hits 100 likes, I'll drop it on this channel. Import. Import is basically just the plus button, but for terrain textures and layers. Just use those instead. These allow you to add pre-made layers to your world. Height maps and mass will also be part of the pro tutorial. Change height. You can change the height of the entire map. You can also even expand the height limit to thousands of blocks. Though I don't recommend doing this unless you have a beast computer. Using this percentage tool here, you can also rescale mountains and floors. Though they will end up really sharp or flat depending on how you set it up. Rotate will rotate the map like this. Shift will change the X and Z coordinate locations of the map. You can couple this with add or expand tiles to move maps around and add new areas to them easily. Scale resizes the entire map. I don't recommend using this as it makes mountains extremely spiky or flat. This is like a low quality option if you're lazy, and you can have some positive results if you couple this with the change height tool. However, I recommend just remaking maps if you want to rescale them. Preferences. You can change a lot of stuff like themes here. Hooray for dark mode. I should use this more. How to edit existing worlds. Go to file and import new world, then select the Minecraft map. I'll explain height maps in the pro tutorial. Before you do this, I recommend going to your desktop and creating a new folder. Then grab your Minecraft world files like this, and copy and paste it here. Simply navigate to that file in the import and select the world, and make sure you don't mark anything. Check this box. This will mess with the exporting process. Additionally, I highly recommend editing already built structures, as it will most likely corrupt the underground area. When you're finished, merge it with the Minecraft map you're using, and enjoy your edited terrain. 
How do you make floating islands? So this is a question I get a lot. So my favorite way to make floating islands is by creating a custom world where the height limit is equal to that of the base of the island you want. By base, I mean the last block before it curves inwards. I'm going to flatten the world to Y127. Wherever you want the floating island to be, you will create a mountain, like this. Now I create a cave layer with the ceiling at Y143. As long as it's above Y127, it will work. I just like using higher numbers because you can be more flexible. You're going to select opposite of terrain, and the floor opposite of terrain as well. Now paint the entire map in this. And if you want the mountains at different elevations, copy this layer and raise the Y level to get higher or lower islands. Here's the result I got. If you want, feel free to join my Discord and showcase any work you've made. Custom Objects and Layers So last video I went over how to import and add schematics to layers, but how do you make your own? You'll have to use WorldEdit on a server, or mod version to do this. Start building your object. In this case, I will create some ruins. Select both sides to create a box with slash slash pose 1 and slash slash pose 2. Then type slash slash copy and then slash skim save whatever name you want this to be. Throw this in whatever file you want and then add it with the plus button. I'll add these ruins with my own trees, and it creates this nice result. Now, here's something wild with the objects. What if we went bigger? What if we added villages and building schematics to World Painter, and pre-planned them out like this, for example? Would be pretty crazy, right? I have this pre-made pack of styles, including over 200 atmospheric, medieval, modern, and futuristic buildings and houses. You can also find your own schematics or download them off of Planet Minecraft or some site like that if you don't want to use this. We'll start with a custom medieval village. We'll start by using this area and selecting gravel on a pencil. I'll use these to paint the roads. Then, I load up these pre-made houses and tell World Painter to generate in between these roads. I'll make sure to extend the foundations to the ground, and this is the result we get. Pretty cool, right? You can get some insane results like this. I also have this preset, which is the Ancient Ruin City, which is an area from my old RPG server. A mysterious destroyed area that is an end biome, with giant ruins that signify a once fallen kingdom. Here's the result with my Cyberpunk pre-made pack. It's very epic. And we can't forget about modern. See, look, it's New York City. Hey look, a Moyai statue for us. Oh, also, a honeycomb land. You see what I mean? Your imagination is the limit. Some ideas will work better than others. Your imagination is the limit. The download also comes bundled with the World Painter starter pack, which has a thousand trees, rocks, and 40 custom layers, along with these multiple aesthetic objects shown in this video, plus building house schematics. Really great for world building, especially if you don't have the time to build all these. Download is in the description. 100 likes and I'll drop a World Painter Pro tutorial. Like and subscribe and comment. I'll see you later.